be damned. That's a new way to spend taxpayers' money. James Harrow. The people's hero. <laughs> I heard the White House sends him golden toilet paper. As long as he keeps the presidential ass clear of tick trouble. Feed him well. We've got a lot of ground to cover tonight. You're not staying for the presentation? The whole institute is in town. Uh, I'll pass on the corporate back padding session. I don't need another retirement lecture. Here, take this to your father before it wakes up and starts cursing us all to high hell. Great, so I'll just tell him you've traded killing vampires for swilling cheap bourbon? Tell him whatever you want. Fine, skip the presentation. But you ain't getting away from a final drink with me afterwards. All right, everyone, we are back. Mr. What a nice surprise. Yeah, sure. Oh, look, White House in Sweet Home, Alabama. I don't know. It is. At ease, boys. My father mm. in his office. Yeah, he is. You're gonna go there in a while. Oh, you got. I'm not gonna see it. Where the hell you been? Thought you got bitten by some tick. Some of those family fellows were hiding out in Providence. That's why the president uh, ordered the western oh, border secure. Officially, they called it a cholera one epidemic. The but the truth That's was, they were dealing with a terrible outbreak of amateur necromancy. The entire institute was engaged in the hunt. Heavy. Yeah, if America did sup deal with supernatural, they would do it like this. Edgar and my father in the Civil War. Right before the bloody Battle of the Wilderness, Central Virginia. His life changed forever during that fight. Highborn nearly killed him. Badly tore up his leg. Edgar carried him in the dead of night across enemy lines to a field hospital, but the surgeon could only do so much. After that, Dad could no longer function in the field. All right, cool. So he has a bad leg. Understandable. Hold on, door. I don't care about that. Oh, this guy, yeah, Peter D. Abano. As a human, Peter Abano was a philosopher who dabbed, dabbed in the dark arts. The vampire saw his talent and offered him power and immortality, but he didn't accept it out of greed or the promise of a better life. But because his exchange world aid his ambitious quest for true wisdom. However, once he accepted the blood, Peter found himself at a part of a loyal family, Sometime, something he never experienced before. Over time, he saw that humans were growing stronger with their science and technology and soon would eclipse the vampires and relegate them to footnote in the history. He decided to act and started performing experiments. He used modern science to breed new mutation and created an army of foul blood, easily manipulated by the vampire master. Each of these monsters are horribly disfigured Nightmares created by Divano's accelerated process of transformation. So he's the one who created the monsters. Go. Did you get that big fangster you were after? Are you sure about that? Sir. Grave nurse with you. He sends his regards. He's afraid you'll try and talk him out of retirement again. I don't believe either of us want that. You know, he did risk his life to get this for you. That's Harrow's trinket. I'm sure you'll both be rewarded accordingly. Edgar isn't some civilian looking for a medal. This is all he knows. Your institute saw to that. My institute? <sighs> this isn't about Agent Gravener, Jesse. We are on the cusp of great progress. Great change. Today's presentation is of critical importance to the family. After which... Edgar is family. After which, I expect you to step up to your duties here at the manor. With all due respect, Director, I am a field agent, not a paper pusher. You're a rentier! <sighs> Why must you always make me spoon-feed these things to you, Jesse? There are bigger things at work here than running around in caves slaying beasts. 
I do believe someday soon you will see it my way. And if you don't, it's my responsibility to force that change. Now, leave me be. I must prepare for the presentation. And send someone in here to clean up this mess. I believe we are gonna get a new toy soon enough. Mr. Rendier, Agent Feathers is waiting for you in the lobby. Okay, thank you, bro. I should have seen that priest armed with holy water crosses and whatnot. And that tick, he was scared stiff. Ass. I would have loved to have seen his face when you walked in with that gauntlet. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, yeah, the gauntlet. Cost me an arm and a leg. It has claws. Sure hope it's worth it. All right. Cool. Long time no see, Mr. Rentier. Who? Who might you be? You're just in time. The presentation should be starting soon. What do you got for me this time? Oh, my upgrade guy is here. Do not disturb. Healing is now followed up with 5 second vulnerability. Okay, murder shot. Just kill them in the air, huh? Okay, use bugs to buy weapons, B and C. Let's see how... Uh, that is, would be a beautiful combo. Should I go after functionality or just abuse? Three bullets. Well, that's actually good too. Oh, I can. Oh, what? Wait. Oh, I got a. I got sleep. Nothing else, I see. Yeah, I'm not interested in gold. I think I'm supposed to get a shotgun soon as well. Yeah, I was upgrading myself. Okay. I can only get this one now. Perks. Uh, do I have a perk point? No, I don't. I really don't know how to reset them either. Thank you, bro. You're my favorite man out of all of these idiots. Mr. Rent here. You remember me? Nope. Ah, go. More money. Director Rent here sure looks edgy. Something's up. I can smell it. Why are you sniffing his ass, man? Come on. Allow me to convey on the behalf of the President of the United States, Benjamin Harrison, my warmest congr congratulations on the Rentis Institute's 70th, 750th anniversary on opening 50th branch of the Institute, with, uh, con which coincides with the celebration, is a true mark of importance that this fine institution has in our great country. I am more than confident at that Director Renter's visionary leadership will continue to protect our citizens from any supernatural forces that we may encounter. Your truly Secretary of War, Stephen Benton Eklund. P.S. We are going to attend the reception together with DC's Renter Institute Outpost Director, Mr. Edward Jones. I hope you don't mind letting him leave his post for this well-deserved celebration. Okay. Files are booked in some kind of grimoire. That's a good stylized choice. What did I get? Oh, look. From my first years of training. Oh, yeah, cadet training. The shortest in the bunch. This guy right here. Gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, if you'll take your seats. And, uh, <laughs> welcome. Yeah, I'm Assistant Secretary of War, James Harrow. President Cleveland wants you to know how appreciative we are of the vital service the Urentia Institute performs, defending our great country from monsters of all shapes and sizes. He also wanted me to make sure you're not blowing all our money on Mexican Monty. But that's another conversation. <laughs> yes, quite. Well, uh, as I say, keep up the good work. God bless you all, and uh, God bless America. Thank you all for gathering here tonight. It's rare we gather in such numbers, but I believe great progress 
calls for momentous celebrations. Our efforts in the fight against the Sanguisuja's spread have too often been baffled by the creature's most insidious weapon, their so-called glamours. These impenetrable illusions have allowed countless fiends to slip through our grasp for too long. That ends now. Agent Rentier, we've upgraded the standard field agent's gauntlet with something our science bods have affectionately named the Zapper. Not exactly an elegant name, but it does the trick. When triggered, the Zapper sends out an electrical impulse that shatters any nearby Sanguizu's glamours forthwith, eliminating what is not and leaving only what is. Once finished, these new gauntlets will be distributed to cells nationwide post haste allowing us to sweep our respective territories for glamoured nooks and crannies. This is the beginning of a new age, gentlemen. Armed with this gauntlet, there is no way our enemy can surprise us. we got a new weapon beautiful zapper just to block this whole thing just to block yeah i know how to block oh i did not oh that hit me oh i hit him what the hell happened Okay, so they will go in a shock. The big guys are gonna have fun with that. Also very ironic that the blimp fell on this place. Yeah, enemies won't see you coming. Neither will you. Equal and exchange, I must Jesus add. Christ. Hope one piece. Oh god, everyone is dead. Yeah, all agents are dead. What? Why can't? Okay. Yeah, sure. I don't think the stable survived, my man. Everything else is burning. Let's go. Oh, looks like we have a new enemy. All right, this thing had no sex on him. Yeah, thank you for that, buddy. All right, he's dead. All right, let's go. Okay, these guys again. All right, good. Oh, we got enemies already. Are they all dead? Yeah, they are. Alright, this level is gonna be very difficult to record. I can guess from there. New lore. Oh yeah, these things. Infected Proteus. There is no academic conscious among RI scientists as to how or why the Proteus grow a toxic paradise worm. Parasitic worm in its guts. It expels these worms as a defensive mechanism and they explode on impact. Some suspect that these certain vampiric genetic traits mingle with, uh, with instant 
intestinal aid, gut bacteria means right to birth these new creatures. Other believe that the empiric blood carries microscopic parasite that grow into large lar into larvae once fed uh, by the host body. Through proteus are not particularly bright. They are extremely dangerous and unpredictable in the fight. Jess, thank Christ. Where's my father? Still kicking ass. Last time I saw him. Old fool thinks he's still in the field. Listen, he wants us to destroy the archives before these assholes get their hands on it. You get to it, and I'll find Harold's pampered ass. Meet me out front. All right, we're just gonna destroy everything. Yeah, you have to, my dude. Information is power, and these dumb um, fuckers are after it. Anything else that I might miss? Okay, I can't destroy those things. Christ. What a mess. It is, isn't it? Oh, they're gonna love it. Not sure what they will do with it, but they will love it. Oh, hello there, buddies. Ooh, Zapdash. Oh, let's go, baby. Okay. I got it how to use this. So you have to press Q before you press forward button. That's kind of bullshit. Can I climb up? No, I can't. What the hell is this place? Shut your ugly traps. Who? What? Who is calling me? Oh, these are all vampires. Yeah, interesting. Cool. Joseph Warren and great grandfather Dick. To find the tech headquarters, he let the Brits take him captive. Would love to have seen the surprise on their faces when he incinerated those tick nests and saved their royal asses. Damn, a hero. Let's go. Yeah, whatever. Have oh, you got the gold? Is that a good thing? I don't know, just le uh, allow the gas to leak more. Oh, we are doing that. Oh. Alright, he's dead. Okay, there's another one. Oh, I, oh level up. Yeah, hell yeah. Alright, Quack Punch. We hold and we... Okay. Oh, that's actually good because that's aerial damage. Lasting in prison. Okay. No, I want to do this one. Oh, let's go. Wait, what? Oh, I have this limited amount of these. Okay, hold on.
Okay, hold on. You guys both can't do this. I think I don't want to get close to these guys. Just for my own safety. Alright, that's done. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, I got new lore. Yeah, what are these things? Boo hags. Boo hags first appear in culture and folklore, but they are no myth. Unlike regular vampires, boo hags can't grow their own skin, so they hunt humans for theirs. Some used to believe that boo hags wearing the skin of its prey could walk among humans in broad daylight, but that has been disproven as boo hags aren't civilized or smart enough to come off as believable humans. Oh, that is ironic. Who was this? Ah, I see. Not only I have these limited, I need I can't even recharge them. Okay, I need to go there. Alright, thank you for that. More money. Yeah, let's go. Okay, I don't know how the controls are working here. Oh, I'm dead. Ooh, baby, that was hard. Okay, let's go. Hopefully I'm not getting sidetracked. Um, yeah, sure, that's blocking my path. Make it more difficult. 